Don't be scared. Your pain will bring me joy. My name is Alyssa. You probably know about my ordeal with Mr. Bob. With the help of Zegra Katsa, I put Mr. Bob to sleep for 99 years. I was able to save my girlfriend Greta, but in turn, I had to sacrifice my hearing. Thankfully, some months later, I had an eardrum surgery, and now I'm able to hear again. Greta and I decided to move away from the city. We found a nice house in a small rural town. That's where we're heading now. Looks like everything's ready. Y yes. Are you happy, Greta? I am. But what about you? Aren't you going to miss the city? Or your apartment? Not really. It was nice having an apartment. But I've had enough of the city. Come on, Greta. Let's go to our new home. Y yes, I'm ready, Alyssa. Alessa, there's a path over there. It must lead to the town. I guess we should go to the town and ask someone for help. Why is there so much fog?
everyone. It feels like a ghost town. Those scissors, those wounds, I think I know who did this. Really? It was Marietta. Marietta? Who is that? Don't you remember her? Mr. Bob's niece. A big woman with a mask and a hat. Yes, she gave me the glasses of truth. But why would she be here? Why would she do this? But what if she knew we were coming? And maybe this is revenge for Mr. Bob. Killing the people of our new town. Maybe her presence explains the fog. And I bet it was her who blocked the road. Uh, Alessa, what are we going to do now? Calm down, Greta. If she's around, we'll have to stop her. She should be less powerful than Mr. Bob. We can definitely defeat her. Marietta must be here. This might come in handy. The store is cursed. Only a holy rosary can lift the curse.
It worked. Marietta. Ah, it's you, the traitor and the dumb girl. I'm not dumb. You're the one who helped me and gave me the glasses of truth. Look, Alyssa, the skeletons of the townsfolk. Marietta, what have you done? Isn't it obvious? I've killed the citizens of this pathetic town. Why did you do it? Is this revenge for your uncle? Revenge for my uncle? Oh no, I never cared about him. He was annoying. Actually, I'm grateful that you put him to sleep for 99 years. You're not here for revenge? Then why are you here? What are you planning? I came to harvest humans for a ritual. A ritual to bring back my father. Your father? Oh no. Greta, who is Marietta's father? Her father is Mr. Alfred. He's a Garakata's eldest son. How dare you pronounce my father's name? Why this town? This town happens to have a strong spiritual connection with an ethereal plane linked to my father. My father has been sleeping for a long time and I really miss him. My uncle didn't allow me to carry out this ritual since he hated my father. However, now that my uncle is asleep, I can do whatever I want. I want my father back. He's, He's going, going to make reality, reality so, so much, much fun. fun. I've collected enough offerings. I can begin the ritual now. What's the matter, Greta? I've never been to a restaurant before. I... I... I don't want people to look at me and think I look strange. Because you're pale? People will always find something to criticize. Be it your appearance, your hobbies, or even the music you like. But it says more about them than you. I don't think people will make fun of you for being so pale. But if they do, just ignore them. Despite everything you went through, you're a beautiful person, Greta, with a beautiful heart. And if they mock you, they will have to answer to me. No one will make fun of my girlfriend. But thank you, Alyssa. What happened? Where? Am I? Where is Greta? Why am I wearing this white uniform? Ah, Alyssa, you're already awake. Who are you? Oh, another hallucinatory episode? I am Dr. Salometi. You're Psychiatrist. This is your cell. We are in Justine Asylum for the Criminally Insane. What? Why am I here? Alisa, you have been a patient here for 20 years. Don't you remember? You killed your parents and blamed it on an imaginary monster called Mr. Bob. In order to deal with your guilt and trauma, you created a whole reality inside your mind. A reality where you are a social worker who battles demonic entities. No, you're lying! Where is Greta? Alessa, Greta was just a doll you had when you were a child. 
She's not real. For some reason, you imagined her as a pale young woman who is very close to you. But that is nonsense. It has to stop. Greta is not real. Mr. Bob is not real. You are not a social worker. You are just a very troubled woman. No, I don't believe you. I bet you're Mr. Bob who has come back. Ah, <sighs> denial phase again. I guess we will have to do this the hard way. Nurse Helga, bring the tranquilizer. What happened? Mannequins? What's going on? Oh, you're awake. Good. Oh, God. Who are you? Oh, come on, Alyssa. Don't you remember me? I'm North Helga. No, I don't remember you. And what's wrong with your face? My face? What do you mean? There's nothing wrong with my face. You're related to Mr. Bob, aren't you? I knew it. This is another one of his tricks. Oh dear, the Mr. Bob paranoia again? What is this place? What am I doing here? It's the recreation room. The other patients have a lot of fun here. Patients? Those are mannequins. Mannequins? Do they look like mannequins to you? They don't look like mannequins. They are mannequins. Can't you see? They don't even move. Blah, blah, blah. Go have some fun. Your surgery will be in an hour. Surgery? What surgery? Your lobotomy, of course. I don't need a lobotomy. I'm perfectly fine. Oh yeah, sure. That's why you see people as mannequins. I need to find a way out of here. Alyssa, I hope you had fun. It's time for your surgery. No, I don't need surgery. Of course you do. Trust me, I'm a highly trained professional. What should I do? Should I do? I need to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's my chance to escape. Under the 
the table. Come out, Alyssa. Nurse Helga is here. It's okay, I'll find you eventually. <laughs> I can't believe it worked. I guess she's not very bright. Alessa, where have you been? Your surgery is about to begin. Let me out of this place. You can't fool me. You're not a doctor. You're right. I'm more than a doctor. I'm an angel, a savior. And salvation means insanity. insanity. Alyssa, it is time you embrace insanity and leave your worries behind. I guess he has to defeat this abomination. I can I use the syringe use to attack him.
finally stop wearing this patient uniform. I need to find Greta. I need to get out of here. Okay, let's play. It moved me to tears. Hello there, mademoiselle. A talking tree? 
The name's Ferdinand. Nice to make your acquaintance. Um, do you know how to get out of this cave? Cave? What do you mean? This is a beautiful forest. No, it isn't. This is a cave. Are you an expert on caves? Um, not really. How can you claim that this is a cave if you're not an expert on the subject? Me, on the other hand, I'm an expert on forests. I can assure you that this is a forest. Trust me, I'm an expert. I've read a lot about forests on the internet. So, you believe everything you read on the internet? Also, reading about something on the internet doesn't make you an expert on the topic. Are you an expert on the internet? Um, not really. Then your claims mean nothing. My word matters, yours doesn't. Tell me, is there a way out of this forest? Forest? How do you know it's a forest? Are you an expert on forests? I'm just I'm waiting. waiting. I'm waiting. I need to find the exit by myself. 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 Tea party, tea party. Me strong, me waifu, me pretty, me kawaii. Hi, Alyssa. Are you enjoying my statues? Aunt Susie? What are you doing here? Making statues, of course. That's all I care about. Uh... Your statues are amazing. 
Oh, thank you, Alessa. You're so sweet. This room smells like ass. I can use his raft to get to the other side.
Is your ass hairy too? entitled to their opinion, although some opinions are barely discussed hate.
was close. God, what is that thing? It's disgusting.
Who are you? You don't look like a monster. If you made it this far, then I guess you already dealt with monsters in the past. That's right. My name is Alyssa. I've had to deal with a very twisted demon and his family. What about you? My name's Alex. Last year, I got involved in something called the Sack of Ashira game. I had to battle demons and horrors along with other five people. In the end, I was the only survivor. Just when I was getting my life together, something happened. The world changed with no explanation at all. Y yes it's like someone warped reality. It seems those who have dealt with paranormal entities or events in the past were not affected by the reality warping event. We need to do something. Also, I'm looking for my girlfriend. I need to find her. Okay, Alyssa, calm down. First, we need some answers. Apparently, others like us are gathered in a building to the east of here. We need to find them. Yes, they could have some answers. We shall travel together. What do you say? That's a good idea! Okay, let's go then. Lead the way. <laughs> Watch out for the evil eyes. We can only go past them when they are not looking. You again? Who even are you?
These holy candles. Maybe the people we're looking for are here. Most likely. Let's go inside. You must be the people we've been looking for. You must be the chosen ones too. You weren't affected by the reality warp. You weren't affected by the reality warp either? By the way, my name's Marion. Hey, I'm Sandy. Nice to meet you. And I am Mia, or at least that's the name I've been using for a century. Wait a moment, you're a vampire? Yes, that's right. I was cursed and became a vampire after using a jewel, but don't worry. I don't feed on good people, only bad ones. So who put those candles out there? It was me. Do you know what's happening? Reality has changed by a very powerful entity. Zagrakatsa? No. His eldest son, Mr. Alfred. Oh, wait! Now I remember. That's Marietta's father. I bet he's the one who took Greta. Is he really that powerful? It seems so. Mr. Alfred is Zuger Katzel's most powerful creation. He was so powerful and sadistic that Zuger Katzel decided to put him to sleep from all of eternity. However, he has been awakened. Someone found a way to do it. It was his daughter, Marietta. I see. Yes, I know her. Well, not as powerful as her father, she's still very dangerous. Is there a way to save reality? To save the world? To defeat Mr. Alfred? There might be a way. You see, Zerga Katzel not only created negative entities, he also created a very kind entity who resembled a bunny. In some cultures, she was worshipped as a goddess. The goddess Alif. Alif? And she looks like a bunny? She was also very powerful and could help us. However, she's also asleep. How can we wake her up? We need to perform a ritual. We will need some Yagasil balm. Wait, I have some Yagasil balm. What? Really? We can begin the ritual now. That's Ella. She's so cute. I'm awake again. Thank you. Goddess, your brother Mr. Alfred has brought reality. The world is a mess because of him. And you help us to stop him? Oh, my older brother did that? I'm so sorry. I'm afraid I'm still too weak from my slumber. And I can't fully appear in your world. Aleph, we have dealt with demons and paranormal stuff in the past, so we aren't affected by the reality warp. We probably can reach Mr. Alfred, but we need your help. Where can we find him? Give me a second. Yes, I found him. He created a house for himself, a house of horrors. Is my girlfriend Greta there? Yes, I'm afraid so. He took her. Is there a way to defeat him? He can't be defeated, but he can be weakened and put to sleep. Here, take this amulet. If you manage to put this amulet in his neck, he will go back to sleep. I'm afraid it's the only way. Also, I can only send one person to his location. Only one of you can go there. I was afraid that would be the case. I'll do it. I'll put an end to this. Are you sure about this? I'm completely sure about this. I need to go. I also need to rescue my girlfriend. I wish we could do something else to help. It's okay. You guys helped me with the ritual, and that's enough for me. Would you like to go now? Yes, please take me there. Good luck, Alyssa. You could do it. Alyssa, I wish we could go and help you. But we have faith in you. We'll be rooting for you. After you defeat him, we shall throw a party to celebrate. 
I sense the strong courage and determination in you. I know you can do it. It's time, Alyssa. Thank you, guys. We'll meet again. I promise. I'll save everyone. I'll defeat Mr. Alfred. <laughs> This must be the place. This path must lead to Mr. Alfred's house. Why are demonic entities so obsessed with houses? Anyway, this bastard has Greta, and he ruined the world. He'll definitely pay for that. What the gnomes? Damn you, you little bearded bastards. Wait a moment. This is the house of my parents. How is this possible? That's me! Is this a hallucination? Daddy came home drunk again. I don't want him to hurt mommy. It's okay. A few weeks later, he was ran over by a police car and he died instantly. Greta? Something's not right. Alexis, you are such a Why are you looking for me, Alyssa? Damn you! 
Everything is a mess because of you. What have you done with Greta? Give her back. I'm grateful, Alexis. Every choice you made led to these moments. moments. In the end, it was you who allowed me to be free again. That's why I have allowed you to leave me. What do you want? I will fill this universe with horror, horror. But first I need to get rid of the one who created me. Sakura Batsaro. Do you know why he put me to sleep forever, forever? Because you're too sadistic? <laughs> <laughs> you really think a deity cares about sadistic? He put me to sleep because he feared me. I was bound to be more powerful than him. Now I will make him pay. The lower is the key to reaching Sagaragatsa's number of slumber. No! Greta! What are you gonna do to her? I simply use her in a ritual so I can reach Sagaragatsa and destroy him all and destroy him. It was fun talking to you, but I'm afraid I had to go. So much to do. No! Wait! Don't run, you coward! I'm not running. I'm always here. Feel free to stick around. I'm sure my associates will be happy to meet Happy to meet This doesn't make any sense. I need to find Greta and stop this pale bastard. must be Alfred's house. I better be careful. <laughs>
<laughs> Ew, what are you? I am Pinocchio, and I want to cuddle with you. <laughs> What a huge cake! I am a little on the old Gepetto. Gepetto? Gepetto? More like big ass pedo. Am I right? You dare invite my domain! No one will interfere with Mr. Alfred. Alfred. He'll allow me to achieve my dreams. dreams. He has already, already given me given these me new these powers. powers. Time to turn you into a marionette. plans. How did you get in my domain? It doesn't matter. Soon, existence itself will be nothing but pure horror. Can't you see, Alyssa? You live in a world full of lies that constantly seeks perfection. A world that's supposed to be happy, but it isn't. Nothing compares to the beauty of horror. If you get rid of those lies, of those layers, they can get nothing but empty vessels. But if you embrace horror, then you become something else. 
And do you know what's below horror? True perfection. Because there's nothing more perfect than true horror. Really? Time to die, Elsa. I can't, I can't wait to pierce your, your eyeballs, eyeballs with, with my, my rusty scissors. scissors. <laughs> Alyssa, there you are. I've been looking everywhere. You again. I always manage to find my patients, except for that annoying girl in the pink dress. But that's not important. You still need surgery. No, I don't need surgery. Do you have any idea of how many patients told me that before I drilled their skulls? Here's a hint. I stopped counting. <laughs> Do you know what insanity feels like? It feels like freedom. You're disgusting. No more running, Alyssa! Now be a good girl and stand still a while, Joe, through your frontal lobe. Dr. Salametti might be dead, but Nurse Helga will always be here for you. Your surgery begins now! Stop running, Alyssa! No, please don't leave! Come back, Alyssa, I promise I'll use anesthesia. Or maybe not. <laughs>
you came for me! Greta, are you okay? What is Mr. Alfred planning? He needs me to reach Zagarakato's dream. He plans to become the most powerful entity in the universe and fill everything with horror and sadness. He makes our world with the horror world. Don't worry. I have something to put him to sleep. Something I got from his sister. But we don't have time for that right now. We can't leave yet. I must face Mr. Alfred and stop him. Alessa, I was scared of never seeing you again. It's okay, Greta. Everything will be fine. If anything happened, I just want to let you know that you're the most important person to me in this world. And no matter where or how, I will always wait for you. I know, Greta. You're the most important person to me, too. But we don't have time for that right now. I must face Mr. Alfred and stop him. No! Greta! It's time, Alyssa. I will display your butt as a trophy above my bed. Mr. Alfred, I will stop you. Who is an ass? A glorious pile of fat? But enough ass. How about you? A house for A house for a A house for a A house for a
Spirit gave it to me. Never mess with a social worker. No, I don't want to sleep again. Sweet dreams. Tell Bob I said hi. Greta, are you okay? Alyssa. Greta. <laughs> One last gift. 
before I go back to my slum. Goodbye forever, Alexis. <laughs> Everything. I will always wait for you. Greta! I'll always love you. I promise, I promise. we'll meet again. 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 Hi, Elizabeth. Remember us? Thanks to you, we are free now. Our name is Alex and Thomas. Thomas. We, we never harmed animals. That was a lie made up by our parents. parents. They hated us. And we, we never, never liked Mr. Bob either. either. Being a monster, a monster under, under his control, his control was, a was a nightmare. But after, but after you, put you put him to sleep, sleep our souls, our souls became, free. became free. Thank you, Elizabeth. We're, We're sorry for everything. For everything. Alyssa, I waited for so long. Greta, we'll always be together now.
My name is Vanessa. My grandma Alyssa was a social worker who battled demons. She told me to be ready for the one called Mr. Bob. He'll wake up soon, and I'll be waiting for him.